You mentioned big eyes and little eyes often, <laughs> and what's the difference between big eyes and little eyes? Are the big eyes the eyes that are more prevalent in me, and the little eyes are the, little, are the eyes that are not so prevalent in you? No, that's not the case. What, I, what the work means, it's not what I mean, it's what the work means. I'm just telling you what this system says. This is not my system. I didn't invent this system. And uh, it's a good thing, too, because it wouldn't be as good as it is now if I had invented it. It wouldn't be what it is. It's not something that was invented by me or people. It's something that was discovered by people who looked for the truth of life and who began to find it. Over the years, because like attracts like, groups of people who looked for the truth and found it began to collect together. And they found that the closer they got to the truth, the more they agreed, and the less they disagreed. And the more they agreed, then the more truth they saw. And the more truth they saw, the more they agreed. Big eyes and little eyes. Little eyes are the little mechanical eyes in this work that live on the circumference of life and the mechanical details of life and the little petty things in life. How can I get dinner? How can I get clothes? How can I get friends? How can I get more money? How can I get a better car? How can I get a better job? Those are little mechanical eyes, and they're concerned with little things, basically, in a, in, a, in a world scale. When you think about it in a world scale, it's very small ideas. How can I get dinner? It's really a very small idea. Dinner shouldn't really be that big a deal. Those things are important, but they're not that important. We make them hugely important. Well, little eyes can't hold much. They're tiny, little eyes, so they can't hold much. So they can only hold little ideas. They can only hold little concepts. They can only hold little actions. They can't fathom big things like, what is the meaning of life? Why am I here? What is my purpose? What is my nature? Am I supposed to be happy or am I supposed to be miserable? Is it my nature to be miserable? Because if it's my nature to be miserable, well, then I don't have to change anything because <laughs> I made it. I've arrived, you know, because almost anything can make me miserable in life. If things don't go my way, I become miserable almost instantaneously. If things do go my way, I become miserable because sooner or later, things in life are going to change. It'll change course. And if it was my way and I was happy, it won't be my way. And that means I'll have to be unhappy because I can only be happy when it's going my way. Bigger eyes, that's little eyes think like that, but bigger eyes, they think like, well, you know, it doesn't really matter whether it goes my way or doesn't go my way because it's going to change. I mean, I've been around long enough to know I'm a big eye. I've been around from here to here. So a big eye can cover more space. A big eye can remember more. A big eye knows more. A big eye has seen more. A big eye has more experience. He can hold more memory. A big eye can hold more. So... He can see that things have changed. He can see that it's not always going to be like this. Well, I've got a cold right now, and I'm not feeling very good. And I've got a headache right now, and it's really irritating me. It's annoying. I want it to go away. Little eyes go, oh, it's going to be like this forever. You're going to have this headache forever. But big eyes go, no, 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 no. This too shall pass. This will pass. Don't give it that much attention. Don't give it that much energy. Don't make your life about it. Don't start making decisions about that. Little eyes, little eyes do this. Their wife dies and they run out and they get a new wife right away. They hurry up and do that. Whereas big eyes hear things like, don't make any major decisions for a year when you deal with some big grief, some big change in your life. Don't make major decisions. And the reason they do that is because big eyes got together and they saw that people did reactionary things. And that those reactionary things caused a big reaction one way and the other and then one reactionary thing caused another reactionary thing and another reactionary thing and another reactionary thing until finally a person's life would be in a total mess and people who saw this and saw the pattern of this over years said you know don't do that those people were bigger eyes they weren't in the mess so the little eyes weren't handling it the bigger eyes are the eyes that can step back from the mess from the big event that's happening in life. They step back from that event and they see a bigger picture. And when they see a bigger picture, they don't have to react as quickly. They can react with more wisdom. They can react with, with 
a better understanding of how things work. They can react more slowly. Fast reactions are good sometimes, but most of the time in situations that involve life decisions, they aren't that good. And the, the, the quick actions are pretty much reactions anyway. It's not like you have a choice about that. You trained for that before, and so you will react the way you react when the situation comes up. But the other things, when you have to step back and look at the whole thing and assess it and weigh it, those take bigger eyes. So when the work talks about bigger eyes, they're talking about those eyes. Those eyes that understand bigger ideas. Those eyes that understand that there are some things in life that are very important and some things in life that just appear to be important and aren't really, not really that important. Whether you eat dinner tonight is not really that important. It really isn't. By the look of most of you, whether you eat dinner, lunch, and breakfast isn't really that important. But that's America. We are very well fed, overfed. But you can see that we have a lot of little eyes that have all gotten into, well, let's do this. And the bigger eyes are not in control. The bigger eyes who say, well, you know, in the long run, that's really not a good idea. Well, but it tastes good right now, and I want to eat a lot. But in the long run, the bigger eye says, that's not a good idea because it's not so good for your health and it'll shorten your life and it'll shorten the quality of your life. And it's not such a good idea. But those big eyes are nowhere to be found when we get to the dinner table. 